Welcome to Quick Tips, short tutorials to help you use technology better. This is part two of the Blackboard Collaborate tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll talk about the audio, video, participant, and chat panels. Specifically, we'll review the audio and video panel, explaining the limitations of audio, and to use the audio and video buttons. Next, we'll look at the participants panel, showing you how to use the hand raise, yes no answer, and emoticons. We'll also show you how to add and remove permissions. Finally, we'll review and use the chat feature. The first of our three panels is the audio video panel. You used the audio video panel in the previous lesson to run the audio setup wizard. There are two buttons, talk and video. Click the talk button to turn on your microphone and click the video button to turn on and transmit video. You can adjust the microphone level and the speaker level with these two sliding bars. Note that audio quality dissipates as more users click and use their microphone. To avoid that problem, have users raise their hand before they turn on their microphone. Below the audio video panel is the participants panel. The participants panel lists all the participants in the session. In addition, you have four options, emoticons, step away, raise hand, and polling. The emoticon buttons allow the audience to show emotion, confusion, approval and disapproval, or if they like the speaker to speak slower or faster. If you've got to step away from the computer, click the Step Away From Session button. When you return, click the button again. The hand raise option allows users to raise their hands to ask questions. Hand raises appear in chronological order. In order for participants and students to speak and be heard with high quality audio, use the hand raise option. To lower your hand, click the hand raise button again. The final option is polls. You can create a poll with yes no answers or multiple choice answers. To respond to a poll, click yes or click no. To choose a different polling type from yes no, click the open options menu button and from global permissions click polling type. Choose the polling type you'd like to use. Once you've decided on a polling type you can ask your question. The question can either be in the whiteboard or verbal. The student can answer by choosing the best choice. Go back to the options menu and click it. As I mentioned these are global permissions. In other words you can grant the following permissions for audio, video, chat, whiteboard, application sharing, and web tour to anyone attending the session. If you remove a global permission, it is removed for everybody in the session. Below the participants panel is the chat window. To use the chat window, click in the chat panel and type a response. Hit enter. Your response appears in the chat window. Any responses that users have will be recorded as well. You'll note there's also an emoticon option with the chat feature. 